Hey everybody, it is Andrew back here. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new around here, please bang on that subscribe button. And if you do like my videos, please like them. Uh, that does make my day. Let's go into four different things to consider here. The bookings will likely decrease per person here over the next little bit. I want to talk to those four reasons on why that is happening as well as I want to offer three potential solutions for keeping your bookings around the same level or maybe even increasing them. So let's get right into it here. So the four reasons why I see that the bookings are going to come down per person and I'm going to order them in terms of importance in terms of how I see them as being important. The first thing is the extra hour. So that extra hour with daylight savings time, it's now increased the supply. So teachers are teaching more in the mornings now because of that extra hour. People don't have to get up as early and they're able to open up more slots in the morning. So that's pretty common sense. More supply, same rough amount of students means that the average amount of bookings per individual will come down slightly. So that is the reason number one you may start seeing or maybe you're already seeing, seeing that this week that bookings are decreasing per person just slightly. I've noticed it. I've heard some other comments from other teachers that have noticed it starting this week. Maybe you can leave in the comments. Are you noticing something as well? For me, I'm not noticing a huge difference but they are coming down slightly. One key thing that I'm noticing now is I would have an open slot, let's say, during a peak hour time tomorrow. Usually that would get filled. By the time I wake up the next morning ready to teach, that would be filled. That's not happening anymore. So that tells me again that things are, bookings per person are coming down a little bit and it makes sense when you hear the rest of my reasons here. Reason number two. Teachers. So this coronavirus is now putting off teachers. So they are no longer teaching a lot across America and across Canada. They are no longer teaching. Plus, you have March break as well. So they were likely going to be off also for those that were off this week. So you now have more supply of teachers that are, that are putting out their calendars and getting booked. So more supply, same amount or static amount of demand means less bookings per teacher. That is reason number two you may see some decreasing in the bookings per person as well, starting this week and going forward for a little bit. Number three, the kids are starting to trickle back to school in China. Now that isn't widespread if you ask them, and I like asking a lot of my students when they're going back. Some of them are going back here in the next week or two. Some of them still have no idea when they're going back. So based on what I've heard anyways, maybe it's 50-50 right now. 50% are going back in the next couple of weeks. The rest still have no idea. So that's just the poll that I've done with my students. Maybe you could leave in the comments on what you're seeing as well. So when they're going back, just keep in mind that they're getting ready to go back and they're shifting into school mode and that's going to bring down the bookings as well. So there's another headwind that we're facing. The fourth headwind that we're facing here is it's been a busy last couple of months and there have been a lot of bookings by the parents and students alike and I think they're growing tired a little bit of it. So they've been going full tilt here with VIP Kid or online teaching and they may be just getting a little tired of it at this point and, and understandably so. It's been a busy couple of weeks. They've been cooped up inside and they're going to just want to get out of here and maybe take a break from VIP Kid for a little bit. So that's the fourth headwind that we're facing. So really it's coming down to I think the bookings are going to come down plus you've got the supply coming up with the reasons that I've mentioned. So there are four headwinds that we're facing that I think just came into effect within the last week or so and I see this those headwinds staying relatively strong here for the next few weeks. So what can we do about it? Like I said, I don't like complaining unless I can offer some solutions. So here are some basic solutions. If you can think of any more, please do leave them in the comments. I'm sure there's lots that can be done here. 
but really what I think we need to do in the next few weeks especially with the frenzies that are coming up is I think unfortunately wah, 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 we got to cast our net back out a little wider again so I mentioned in a prior video that I was trying to bring down my nights that I didn't want to work as many nights and that's been great I've been able to do that recently but I think going forward I may have to start going back to a few more nights of work and casting my net out a little bit wider maybe you have to work a little bit earlier in the morning really you might have to cast that net out even wider for those frenzies so that might mean that you really tailor your schedule after you see the frenzy and maybe you bring back some hours on where things are not getting booked but it might be wise here for the next frenzy to cast that net out wide for the reasons that I've mentioned supply is going up with more teachers here booking slots and then I think the overall bookings by by students are going to come down so that might mean that we do cast our net out a little bit wider here so number two what else you can do as well is those certificates and as you know from me uh, previously I said no 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 for you for the trial certificate so I, I took my trial certificate back Plus, I've got some other things, supplementary courses that I could get into. I've been holding off getting level 7. So there's a lot of things that I can do here now to try and supplement a little bit to get those certifications back if I want to. So that's something to consider. If you've got cert certifications out there that you could complete, it might be wise to complete that. Now, having said that, after maybe a month goes by maybe we're able to get back and say well I don't want those and you can always send a ticket through to VIP kid to say please take those off my file off my profile and they will do that very quickly they are excellent at doing that so something to consider and the last thing five apples five apples is the name of the game around here I think we've already we already know that but and I know there's not much you can do, but really grind at getting the five apples back from the parents. So really refine your feedback and just, I've mentioned this before, but change the wording in your feedback to request for five apples. Because if you keep it the same all the time, the parents eventually just tune that out. Change something. I capitalized on please I or please help. Just change the wording, make sure it translates well over into Mandarin, but I think that's important that you change the wording a little bit from time to time because eventually the parents will just glaze right over it and it all it takes is a little change here and there. I changed my wording here last week and no joke, I got the about a day after I got a parent leave me five or there was nine, nine five apples, boom, boom, boom. A parent who had, I don't think she's ever left me feedback. I changed the wording. The next day, she leaves me nine five apples. So, and it could be a coincidence. Who knows, right? I don't know that that was what did it. But that's something really to consider is change the wording slightly. And that might help to bring up your five apples. And if you bring up those five apples, you're going to, increase your bookings as a result because that percentage is vital that percentage of five apples that you're getting is vital for the parents to search and to find you so those are what that's what I'm thinking there hopefully that helps you best of luck in your bookings please leave some comments what are you seeing out there what's going on with you please like my video if you do like it and I try and do videos every few days I go out and scour the internet looking for some tips Bring it back here, give credit where credit is due, and I'll be back on the weekend for another video. All the best in your teaching. Bye!